let's show you how to paint a cool little gargoyle and I'm gonna paint this on that canvas right there. It's uh, I believe it's 11 by 14. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, catch out this gargoyle with uh, burnt umber and I uh, water it down a little bit and we can put his head here. To the wash on this painting and I'm using this uh, number 12 flat brush and I'm using these three colors here ultramarine a burnt sienna and a red and I'll mix these together the sienna ultramarine and start painting start with the background I'm gonna develop the background some and I've decided to make like swirling mist so I'm using a um, deep red and burnt sienna The lighter parts of the swirling mist, I just added a Naples yellow and then mixed that with these colors. I'm going to try ultramarine and uh, red, mix those up, develop this part down below. Okay, so I'm going to mix uh, ultramarine and that red color I've been using with titanium white. And let's see what this looks like. I'm going to go with this for now, sort of like this. And I'm just going to pick and choose areas where I want to put the swirling mist and where I don't. So I got some blue there, it's okay. So I don't like too much the highlights that are going on back here. They're too distracting to me. So I'm going to use the red color, cadmium red deep that I have. I'm going to water it down. I'm going to put a wash over that. I'm going to take some of this red and just splash it down here. Maybe here. Just move the red around so it's not just on the top. Part of uh, the color balancing that I love. Now I mix ultramarine and the deep red color I've been using. Mix these together, so I'm gonna make some, some details in the background over here. Okay, I'm gonna paint in the body of the gargoyle and I'm mixing there you go, ultramarine, burnt sienna to get this dark color. Water down my paint, show you burnt umber and some blue, and I'm gonna put some lines in here. I'm going to lighten the wings over here and this one over here with a little bit of a burnt sienna and red, like I have been uh, doing. I'm gonna go ahead and block in the head, and I'm using a burnt sienna and ultramarine. problems that I see with this painting and I'm gonna have to fix them um, but this happens and this is what I do and a lot of artists do um, this horn here should be higher because the head's tilted and this ear has to be higher if I do this the ear should start up here the other ear should be up higher so what I do when I do that I want to sort of um, continue this color up so that disguises the so it's to disguise your mistakes and then maybe you can maybe I could put it over here too and it gives it a nice bright color behind them the wing part, I'm gonna mix burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, and the red, deep red. I've been using. Mix all, mix those three colors up, and paint the ear up. Now I'm going to paint part, the the legs below. I'm gonna paint it a grayish color. So now I'm gonna go over the feet with a darker gray color. Guys, I had no idea that I forgot that the camera was not focused in on the on a tombstone But this is what I painted. I was talking about it and uh, you weren't seeing it. I apologize for that But the, here it is. This is what I what I did with the highlights and the shadows Now I'm gonna put some highlights on the feet and try to make it look like stone I'm gonna Take the same light color that I use on the legs and maybe put it here and uh, Make it go up I did the tombstone and the legs. I'm gonna sort of balance this some more because he's really dark and we need some darkness down here. So in order to balance composition. So I'm gonna go ahead and use ultramarine and burnt sienna. Two favorite colors to make a dark color. To fix that. So I'm gonna get some colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, paint this here. 
get started on the gargoyle working on his highlight. Okay, now it's time to work on the gargoyle building up his highlights. So I'm going to use deep red and burnt sienna. shadow area because the light's coming down this way. Look at this, it's also softening up the, uh, all the hard lines that are there. Hard, there's really dark lines there. Too dark. I'm gonna give them some beady eyes, some pupils. Maybe you can make it. Make it more interesting since we have this light back here. I'm gonna put some rim lighting behind him. I'm gonna put some of this lighting uh, back here on these tombstones. The camera doesn't capture all the, all the beautiful colors are in that tombstone. 